jerking off. I did this sketch for, oh well not for, of Aerie the other day and I was gonna do it on stream and I like ran out of time but he just finished streaming so now I'm going live I'm gonna work on this the last time I streamed I didn't draw him which is like a war crime but this stream is him Mitchie, how's it going? How are you? How are you? Hey, I want to check on something. Sorry for the seizure. Wanted to make sure I uh, closed certain tabs. <laughs> We're good. Doing good, just got off work. Well, welcome home. I hope you can chillax now. Hey Ted, how's it going? We be chilling. What you up to? Alright, how do I want to do this? Which should I start with? Should I start with the chipmunk? Nothing yet? You're figuring that out? Gotcha, gotcha. All I've done today is like work on stuff. I worked on a commission earlier, editing videos, stuff like that. for Aerie stream to end and I went live. The only stuff I like to listen to on this Pretzel Rocks is like the chiptune. Like the synthwave stuff can be kind of okay too. Wait, what's that? What did I just piss? I don't see an alert on my thing. Do I have something open somewhere? I don't think so.
I did. Oh, you hosted. Okay. That's what it is. I'm like, I don't see my alert on my phone. I have the activity feed and nothing popped up. <laughs> and I was like, ah! Oh, okay. Well, thank you for the host. Yo, Michi, I've been wanting to ask you. Because you've been doing your, like, V streamer stuff more. And the VTuber kind of stuff more. Like, how the hell is that, man? What's up with that? <laughs> How's that been treating you? All that stuff. Oh, I got disconnected from chat on my phone. No, oh, why is my phone being dumb? I can check the browser if he said anything. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. I've been trying to find a cheap slash free program for me to use. I want to make a 2D or a 2.5D VTuber model. It's fun. You found something that you generally enjoy. You want to use this platform to support your friends. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, I... I want to find like a open so software, like a free software if possible, if not a cheap one that I can save up for or something. Because I want to make myself a 2D or 2.5D model, maybe even make models for other people. Like I've really been enjoying like the VTuber kind of content lately, and that's what I kind of want to lean towards as well. Plus, I don't know, I think it'd probably be better than seeing me in the corner. Just like, have a full ghost model. It's like, if I could somehow rig it that like when I move around, the tail swishes around behind me or something, I don't know. It's like, the gif in the corner is too fast. VTuber Studio, no I have not. It's like the one I was looking at was like live 2D and it's not free anymore. I thought it was free at once, but it might not have been. But VTuber Studio? I'll have to remember that. Um Yeah. Yeah, I was saying the GIF in the corner is too fast and junk like that because it was like it's free on Steam. Can you- do you know if you can like import stuff to that or is it just like pre-made models that you have to like kind of customize? Because if I could draw my own stuff and import it, that would be great. You don't know, you use Void. How much did Void cost? <laughs> but Void is mostly 3D. Uh... I mean, see, I, I just like the look of the 2.5D models more, or the 2D models more, because it's more, like, I don't know, anime. It's more sprite looking. A lot of the 3D models, in my opinion, just aren't quite there. Void and it's free. It's so like, if I could make a 3D model look 2D, then I would use it. That makes sense. Maybe I should give Royd Royd a little check as well. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm starting to learn to animate. That gif is like the first thing I made. It was only 24 frames and the idea I had for it would have been a bit longer so it's kind of shoddy but I'm gonna continue learning and I recently redownloaded Krita because I've heard Krita is better for animating. I see that, it's nice. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know if I'm nice, but thank you. But when I do more animating stuff slash learning, I'll do it in the stream. Or at least some of it. <sighs> but yeah. There's a whole bunch of stuff I want to start doing. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> yeah. I talked about it a little bit the other day, but you weren't here. Um, basically, I was saying that I'm gonna start streaming at least two times a week, like guaranteed, and then if I can get to it, on the other days I'm going to. Like, I want to stream every day, but I know that that might not be possible. So I'm going for Mondays and Thursdays for like guaranteed streams. And then if I can, every other night. Uh, I kind of failed on this one already, but I'm also going to be trying to make like two videos a week on the YouTubes again. I was supposed to record a Fan Art Friday video last night, but ended up not getting around to that. Instead, I was editing and stuff like that for Aerie. Yeah. I wanna try and take the art and the streaming and stuff like that seriously and see if it's something that I can maybe, maybe, like, have a little income on. It's like, I'm not getting enough commissions currently to live off of, like, 100%, but I've gotten a little bit this, this month, this week. We're, like, a little bit behind. Like, I think I only had two commissions that I've been working on this week. Yeah, I need to take it more seriously. For a long time, I've just kind of been doing it for fun. You know, I've been like a background character helping Ari out with stuff. But lately, I've been realizing that I can do more, you know? And that there are people who actually like my art, and there are people who like watching me. And like, that sometimes I kind of help inspire other people making art and stuff. So, I don't know. I for sure want to do this more, more seriously, especially. Like, I want to grow the community more. I don't think it'll ever happen, but if we got partnered, that'd be dope.
It's like I got excited because my VOD channel on YouTube has five subs. <laughs> It's so dumb. And then I took off all my old videos on my YouTube, my my main channel. There's just some art videos on there now, but all the old blog content and stuff like that is gone and now it's just art. You plan on streaming more seriously too? Hell yeah. If I want my support to mean something, I gotta do that. <laughs> you know, you're awesome, Mitchie. You always have been. You've always been like a super down-to-earth, like, helpful person that just like, you know, you're just, you're one of those good people. You're one of those like good people and you're always fun to have around. I've been wanting to do more like collab content lately. Like I've been talking to other artists and trying to see if people would like to like stream with me and junk like that. But it's really hard to schedule, especially if like you want multiple people. It's like, there's a couple people that I was talking to and like one of them I don't talk to anymore. So, I doubt they would want to, plus they didn't stream that often. But... Helping others makes me happy? Yeah. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> like, like the same reason why I help Ari with like editing and thumbnails. Yeah. Yeah. I only have like a couple limitations luckily though, so I can be pretty flexible to other people. Like my main limitation is just when Aerie streams and I have to get his content stuff done. It's like as long as it's like outside of that it should be good. Like, after I draw this drawing of him, I have thumbnails for tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure I already got both videos for tomorrow edited. So it shouldn't be that hard. And then at some point, I have to find the time to make my own video as well. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to start taking things more seriously. Like, I remember back when I first started doing YouTube and stuff like that, back when I was doing, like, vlogs on an iPod. I was just doing it for fun, kind of as, like, a personal thing. as almost like a video diary, and I didn't try very hard. And a lot of my videos never even had thumbnails, or if they did have thumbnails, they were really crappy with like some impact font text and like some generic whatever in the background. I actually still don't thumbnail my videos. My VOD channel doesn't have any thumbnails, the only thumbnail they have is like what's in the video. But I'm gonna have to start thumbnailing them. In junk. Yeah. It's just, you know, working on Aries stuff over the past couple of years and junk like that has kind of inspired me to actually try again. Well, again, but actually try this time. It's like, plus, if I succeed. And he succeeds, then we're gonna have big fun bus. <laughs> it's like, and even if I don't get big or anything like that, I have fun doing it. Like, I've met a lot of like cool people just drawing stuff online. I think my favorite thing is just meeting other artists and seeing their work and talking with them.
right? I, I feel like I don't need to be super big, just enough that I can offer meaningful support. Yeah, dude. Like... There's just, like, there's like a community, you know? It doesn't even have to be like, your community or anything like that. It's just like, there's a community of the, like, all the streamers. Just like, going to each other's streams and like, just talking for a bit and maybe even like joining discords with each other and like posting your art or your videos and junk and just like getting to know people. It's been super fun. It's like there was a guy who started streaming after I did that I raided a while back who's like three times the size of me now and I was just like, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. And then I was like, what did he do, dif do different? And it's like, oh yeah, he didn't take month breaks at a time randomly. <laughs> and I was like, probably should stop doing that. I should probably just, you know, keep to a schedule. I'm hurting myself by not doing that. I mean, by doing that. I need to like, actually keep on top of it. I like to joke around a lot, but I'm just an NPC and I'm just there for like other people. But it doesn't have to be like that. I can do both. I can be there for other people and do my own thing. I don't have to limit myself like that. Especially not if there are people who are like enjoying me or enjoying my art or just like throw me on the TV in the background while they work on their stuff. Like, I'm cool with it. <laughs> I do need to break out of my shell more though, and I'll like fully acknowledge that. Like even right now, I feel awkward, <laughs> you know? And like I've known you. Like I met you in school. And like yeah, we haven't seen each other in years. But I actually knew you, and just talking to you, I still feel awkward. <laughs> you enjoy me? Well, thank you. And I need to talk more in streams, but I'm super bad about like knowing what to talk about. Not a lot happens in my life, so it's not like I have a lot of like stories to fall back on or anything. Plus, there might be aspects of my life that I'm not allowed to talk about. Things like that. Wait, what happened? Waldo! Waldo followed me! Oh my god! Yeah, I still feel awkward in streaming too. Yeah, like how do you get over that? <laughs> how do you get over feeling like anxious? Like, how do you feel confident? Like, <laughs> it's like another thing too. Is like I'm using webcam or whatever. Cause like. I notice that when I use my webcam, I get more traffic. You don't? You never get over the anxiety? No! You usually use the game I'm streaming to calm you down. Okay. Alright. Like... Yeah. So I use the webcam because I get more traffic when I use it than when I don't use it. Every now and then I get an asshole who makes fun of me for being fat, but you know, I guess it's just part of life. Like, that's kind of why I want to get the rig though, I want to make my own rig. Because then I'll have like a character on screen people will be able to re relate to, it's just like a face cam, they like it, yada yada. And then I don't have to worry about like, what I look like as much. Plus, it'll allow me to show myself off more as like how I feel rather than I look. So if I could make like a boy version and a girl version of my rig, and then depending on how I'm feeling that day, I could have one that's more masculine if I want. It's like in real life I'm growing my hair out and junk like that. But there are days where I want to shave this all off. There are days where I don't want to be girly, you know? And I'd be able to play around and experiment and stuff with the with a model. It's like, plus I'm not the only one I want to make a model for. And it would be good practice to make my own. Like plus in general, I've been watching 
more like these streamers, VTubers, whatever, lately. And I like how chill it is. It's like, it's like a just chatting stream, but in my opinion, better than most just chatting streams. Like, I'm actually gonna start, like, trying to incorporate more VTuber kind of stuff in my stream, even though I'm not a VTuber. If someone bullies you, just call Mama Michi and she'll take care of them. <laughs> okay, Mama Michi. <laughs> I actually haven't had a problem in a long time. The last guy who gave me shit too, I was like... He was like, you're obese! And I was like, yeah, I am. My doctor and I talk about it. Thanks. <laughs> it's like... It's like, okay. Thank you. Your eyes work. Woo. <laughs> but... Like I said, I haven't had that too much of a problem in a while. But yeah, I've been trying to incorporate more VTuber elements, so I'm gonna add more rewards and stuff like that. I wanna- I gonna- I wanna somehow have a feeling that the stream is like as much a just chatting stream as it is an art stream. Which is gonna be hard, because I don't talk a lot. <laughs> and I don't know what to talk about sometimes. <laughs> but I want it to be more than just me staring into the camera drawing. I want it to be like more interactive. So I want to add a whole bunch of stuff for chat to play with and just like fun little things like like if I am being quiet I want there to be enough stuff for people to play with that they don't get too bored. It's like I still I just learned how to set up like reward sounds. So now I have like a reward for RAR and Meow, where if you do it, it'll play through OBS. And I just figured out how to do that like yesterday. <laughs> this is the first stream with it. And I gotta hook up some other stuff as well. And if anything like funny happens in a stream sometime, I'll definitely make like, like audio clips of that and stuff like that. Because basically going forward for this channel, my plan is to have everything as much as possible based around the community, based around chat. I think that's great. If you need tutorials on Void to VTubing, X Crossbait, several video on his YouTube channel. Thank you. X crossbait, huh? It's like I've seen um, some tutorials on how to make the drawing for models, but those are like the two and a half D ones. So like you have like the back and then like the main body and then like, you know, like the no mouth and then you have the mouths that go over it and crap like that. But I haven't seen how to like, Make them work! <laughs> Crap like that. Yeah, like I was saying, I want everything to be community-based. I want it to all be things the chat wants, stuff like that. Speaking of a community-based thing that's happening yeah, right now, I don't know if you saw it in my Discord server, we're doing the first study stream kind of stuff. I posted two reference images in my server that I want people to use. One is just like a bunch of different ball shadings and then there's a reference for like different heads and shadings around heads. And I want people to do one ball shaded and then two heads. And it can be whatever style, you know, it's just a fun practice exercise. And I'm keeping track of who participates because in the future, the people who participate in the studies and stuff like that, I want to have rewards. I'm not going to say what rewards yet or anything like that, but because I won't be able to do it for a little while. The people who regularly participate in group activities on the channel, I will reward them. They will get perks. They will be remembered. And in the future, when I have more money and when we do different stuff, they'll be like the top <laughs> of the opportunity things. 
Plus, I wanna just make everything community-based. So I'm gonna start doing more of that. Oh, I was supposed to start a community challenge, I forgot. Um, I made a community challenge. How do I start this? Uh, I don't remember where it is. <laughs> um, uh, to do the manager rewards thing. Yeah, I like that you're doing that. I'm afraid I'm more knowledgeable in 3D than 2D though. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I was making a community challenge for a summer drawing. It's like, it's okay if nobody wants it. But basically, for 10,000 spirit orbs, I'll do a beach theme with my OCs. So, if this is something that you guys want, put your points in it. If you don't want it, don't touch it. But, summer's coming up. So I figured if you guys are interested in a beach themed drawing with my characters, that's an option for you. And then I'll take suggestions in my Discord server if there's other kinds of drawings you guys would want to see with any of my characters. And then those will also be reward goal things. You need that beach theme. Hello, Fire Kitten. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, so if the beach if the beach up uh, drawing is something you're interested in, three points in there. Uh, I wasn't sure if 10k would be a lot. It's got 30 days. One person could definitely fill it up themselves if I stream regularly. But like I said, if you guys want it, pretty much I'll do it. This is the first one. It's a test. Like, yeah. This son of a bitch. What? Oh, you're talking about fire? <laughs> How have you been? What have you been up to? My foot's the wrong shape. Yeah. If you guys ever have any suggestions for drawings you want of me or any of my characters. You got 5k words, you're halfway there. I think it only lets you like put 2k in at a time or something. But yeah. Mitchie's like, I'm getting that beach. I'm getting the beach drawing. You're not streaming right now? No, Ari was streaming earlier. And he streamed for five hours. <laughs> yeah. I waited until after his stream was over to go live. Because I can't stream while he is live. I have to moderate his chat. <laughs> his, his stream was good too. It was nice and chill. It was SMP. It was good. Good vibes all around. Great stream. 10 out of 10. Would watch again. It's like... Yo, if you don't know who he is, do exclamation point yeet. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna redraw this part. You can watch now. <laughs> well, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Oof. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Poor fire. Like, it's like, here, here, oh, what was she doing? She might not have been home. No, poor me. You don't like when people say poor, Aerie. You don't like that. I can't say that. You get mad. Correct. <laughs> yeah, I can't be like, oh no, Aerie.
But yeah, um, yeah, uh, do you guys have any other, like, suggestions or anything that you would want to see me draw? I need to start making a list of, like, stuff, and then just, like, randomly choose them for, like, the challenges or whatever. Also, I was thinking about doing a big sheet with all my characters on it. Like the ones I've had over the years, starting off with like the characters from Love is an Art that I made a long time ago. And then like show the evolution of my character or my Sona, whatever you want to call it, how I depict myself online. And show like where it started and where it went. And how we got here. Somebody did say that they think I need to draw my friends more. Like, other than just Aerie. Like, I should draw sand. You're scared of talking now? I don't be scared, Fire. You're fine. You have friends? I do! A couple. I've got some art friends. You would definitely like to see more of Love as an Art. Oh god, dude. Like, yeah, that comic's gonna come out when I'm 47. <laughs> I'm too busy to make it, dude. I could drew, like... Tell you what, if you want to see more of Love as an Art, I'll write that down. I'll put that on the list of, like, stuff to do. So... I'll do like love is an art characters. I'm a friend, not an art friend, but a friend. Yeah, Mitchie's a friend. I didn't really give her a choice. I saw her eating lunch one day, and I like walked up and was like, "We're friends now," and like sat down. <laughs> and she's been start a Patreon for it. That's not actually a bad idea. But I don't think there's enough people that care about it yet. I would have to, like, talk about it on stream a bunch and, like, stuff like that. Eventually, if enough people want love as an art to, like, actually happen and become a real comic, like, if I can get a following for it and people are willing to support to, like, have it become created, then I'm 100% down. But I feel like Mitchie's the only person that, like, knows Scam them for money? No, it's not a scam! Yeah, that's how I meet a lot of people when I come to think of it. I don't know how to explain it other than you looked friendly. Like, you looked like I could talk to you and get along with you. But you also looked terrifying <laughs> to talk to anybody. You were like in the corner by yourself, like at a table, and I was like... I was like, she's kind of cute, you know? She looks friendly. She looks nice. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go make her talk to me. <laughs> so I did. The love is an art stuff. Put that on there. I'll make a note about possibly making a Patreon for comics. I don't think anyone will support me for that though. But it's definitely an option for the future. I technically already have a Patreon, but I don't really use it. I'm supposed to post all my art to the Patreon before I post it to like any other websites, but let's be honest, lately I've been posting straight to like Discord first. So. Oh, I'm grateful you thought that. Oh, you should know that I like you, come on. <laughs> Don't act a surprise. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this chick is pretty. She cute. She seems smart. Like, 
Oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Oh yeah, on top of streaming here on Twitch, I want to start picking up streaming on Pixel or Picarto as well sometimes for the non-Twitch friendly art. <laughs> Cause uh, lately most of my commissions have been NSFW. And when I'm working on them, I can't really post that here. So I'm gonna have to go on to like another streaming service for that. And Pixel seems to be the one that artists I look up to have been using for that recently. But I'll make more posts about that in my Discord server when that time comes. You want to commission emotes from me when you get affiliate? Bet. We'll do it. <laughs> I actually need to polish up my emotes a little more. I've noticed that I think my line art is maybe a little too thin. Especially on like the pouty one. You can't really see the pouty face. So I gotta thicken up the pouty face mouth on the pouty one. like I always spend more time on other people's stuff making it look good than I do my own which is something I should probably stop doing because my own stuff kind of like represents what I can do right so one out of poo poo yeah I wonder why that's there <laughs> yeah uh, I'm gonna be making a sub goal so currently my only subscriber is the one and only Michi amazing a goddess really <laughs> but I'm gonna yeah I've got like a follower goal as well uh, what did I set it at like 150 so like at 150 followers I'll do like an art reward thing like I'll make a emote for somebody I'll make a little drawing for a giveaway winner I'll either do like yeah I'll either do like a your character here kind of thing or I'll do like an emote. And then... I don't know what we're gonna do when we hit the sub goal. I will support you as much as I can. Oh, Michi. <laughs> Your support has already been great. Like... The fact that you've stayed sub to me, even when I wasn't like streaming for a while, really means a lot to me. It's like, this is gonna be really sappy, but one of the reasons why I keep doing what I do and stuff like that, and one of the reasons why I want to take it seriously, is because I remember that there are people who like, believe in me and junk, and you're proof of that. And it makes me feel good. <laughs> so thank you. Like, I want to grow this community, and I want to have fun doing it, I want to collab more, I want to, you know, just have fun, make art, talk to people. Maybe become a, a VTuber. <laughs> so. Oh God, I love you. <laughs> You're great. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I was just too on. <laughs> I was I was just too like open. <laughs> uh, my face hurts, man. I'm blushing like. Uh. <laughs> Sometimes I get real discouraged about things, but I just gotta remember that, like, hey man, I can do it. I can do it. 
It's that like fake it until you make it mentality. You gotta believe in yourself. Like, and I believe that both Ari and I will become successful. And you too, Michi. <laughs> but I know sometimes Ari gets discouraged, and I don't want him to get discouraged either. My phone's gonna die. Oh no. I'm using my phone as my chat monitor. Please don't die. I'm gonna have to like plug it in. Aw, oh, thank you. How close are you to getting an affiliate, by the way? It's like, for some reason, I kind of thought you were already there. Not very much, what? When are you gonna go live next? Do you have like a stream planned out or anything? You need 50 followers and an average of 3 viewers per stream? Yeah. How many followers are you at? Right now, just 8pm on Wednesdays. Okay. 20 followers? I'll have to like share your crap on everything. I'll start sharing your streams in my server too, like Aries does. Do you have your own Discord server? Do you have like a channel announcements that I can follow and it'll just like send it to my channel announcements? Do you have any of that stuff? Because if you do, I'll just- I'll totally just follow it. It's like, and also, if you ever want to collab, that's a thing we can do too. I'm not really sure how we would collab. Unless I just like, did like a just chatting with you, or I drew you, or something like that. And plus random streaming if you're not too tired. Yeah, my new schedule is like, Monday and Thursdays. I want to say 2pm. But 4 p.m. probably. Anywhere in there. <laughs> and those are like the guaranteed days. And then I'll try to do every other day of the week if I can, if I have time. My streams will have to go around area streams, but still. You do not have a Discord. You just use Twitter to make announcements. I use Discord for everything, man. <laughs> it's like. I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> like, I like it because it's like Skype and you can talk and it's like a forum. You can just like fill out your channels and whatever. Like, I use Twitter too, though. 
so that works. You'd love to collab? Oh hell yeah. So what do you do mostly? Do you just play video games? Do you just chat and kind of stuff? What's your what's your like preferred content that you like to make? squeaky Most of the game video games oh, yeah. I've actually just recently started playing games again on the channel, and by that I mean I played Minecraft once. <laughs> oh yeah! Yeah! I don't really use Instagram anymore. Like, but whenever I do, I see your comics on there. It's like, I don't post on there very often. It's like, I'm pretty bad at it. I've been told by quite a few art peeps that I need to share my stuff better because I'm not super consistent with where I post it. So I need to like, I don't know, make a Google Doc with every link that I have to post to because like I said I throw it on like Discord and Twitter and just forget about it which is very bad practice especially if I'm trying to like get my name out for art. <laughs> Like, I wish that I had, like, a free program that would, like, auto-post it everywhere for me. Ari did show me a couple, like, programs that help out, but they don't have all the sites that I would use. Yeah, I'm just super forgetful. Like, I don't know how people remember the 70 different sites to post everything on. But I've been trying to like make more online friends recently. It's like I've been trying to talk to more people. Not just to like build connections, but just to have more like variety and to see all the cool stuff other people do. I feel like I haven't been able to like properly make friends since school. It's like, but I wanna make friends that do like the same kind of stuff. 
Like, I wanna meet more artists, and I wanna meet more streamers. And I don't want it to be like a friendship that's a competition. You know, because that doesn't sound good to me. I just want people who do similar stuff and like get it. But I also don't want to befriend somebody that's just gonna like crap all over me because. I'm nobody, you know? That's like something I'm scared of when I like try and talk to like another streamer. Because pe people with numbers are scary. <laughs> so. Me too, you just made a bunch of V streamer friends and we push to support each other. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I want that. It's like... I don't know. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I want to be part of something. Ah. <laughs> I've, I've been in like Discord servers before that like claim that they're there to like help each other and stuff like that. But they all end up being like follow for follow stuff and like not, not even like the good kind. It's like the spam your link and never talk to each other kind. Where, like, if you're gonna support each other, I wanna, like, actually be friends, you know? Like, actually talk to each other and, like, enjoy what you do. Like, um, a lot of people on Twitter end up following back. Not because I do follow for follow, but, like, if they follow me and I go look at their page and I like what they do, like, their art and stuff like that, I'm gonna follow them back. So I wanna have that kind of, like, relationship with people on Twitch, too. Like, if I genuinely enjoy you and your content and stuff like that, I'll support you. And I hope people only support me if they enjoy me and my content too, you know? I don't want to be on like a follow for follow list or anything like that. I just want to make like genuine friends that do similar things and enjoy it and stuff like that. And I want to prove myself and do it more often. And make things happen and it's hard and I'm scared but yeah so yeah You can do it! Oh, thank you, Fire. The Discord you're in is kind of follow for follow, but we talk to each other almost daily and share links and resources that you use, plus games you might collab on. Well, that's better than just a follow for follow, like, link page, because I've joined quite a few, like, Twitch things. And, uh, yeah, quite a few of them were just, like, nobody talking to each other and just spamming links. So, but, hell oh yeah. That's the thing I have to get over too, is that I'm a big scaredy cat. So whenever I do join servers, sometimes I don't talk <laughs> right away, but I don't, I don't post links either. I just don't talk. I just like lurk. I watch from a distance <laughs> and see what happens. So. But that's what I was talking about earlier when I was saying I need to like break out of my shell more. Like I've had the AMA tag in my streams for like ever, but nobody asks me any questions. <laughs> like I also made a channel points reward that's um, basically you get to decide where the conversation goes 
So if you want to talk about a specific thing, you can cut off whatever conversation is already happening and have it switch over to that. Or I guess if we don't want to cut off the conversation, we'll go to that afterwards. So if somebody's like really excited about something, they can shift the entire like stream. Like, do you hear my voice going out, man? Talk about poop. Well, my roommate has the most diarrhea I've ever seen. No. <laughs> You realize you're more of a lurker in your Discord, and to be honest, mostly art stuff you don't understand. Yeah, I mean, the server is an art server, but I don't want it to just be art. Alright, so you want to talk about poop, Ari? Like, go on? No, I'm kidding. Um, it's like, maybe I'll have a, a poopy art competition where everyone has to draw poop. And then the winner will be rewarded a sticker that's just like a golden turd. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Somebody please redeem something else. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Does anybody else have anything to add to the conversation? Oh, uh, shapeshifting. <laughs> well. Yeah, he's a shapeshifter. Um, I don't know how much about his shapeshifting I'm allowed to share, but according to Aerie, he's the only real shapeshifter. And every other shapeshifter ever depicted is a fake, or it's just him in another form. Um, I'm drawing Aerie doing the shapeshift, so it's not really sh- I don't know if it's shapeshifting. It's a mind transfer. I guess that's technically shapeshifting, because he ends up being a chipmunk and the chipmunk ends up being him. So, technically, I think so. Oh no, you're bad at this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am. I'm practicing. Alright. This is me trying to learn, alright? <laughs> um. Anyway, I'll talk to you a bit about the stuff that I like in shapeshifting. I first got into it when I was really young because I thought I thought werewolves and vampires were really cool and I wanted to be both of those and I wanted to be like a werewolf vampire. French toast. French toast is great, but sometimes it's not great. Sometimes it's just kinda like weirdly eggy. Or it gets soggy. And then it's just kind of like weird. I notice that if I had French toast multiple times, I actually start hating it. And then I don't want to make it for like another two months. Alright, everybody do exclamation point yeet. <laughs> exclamation point yeet in the chat, gamers. That'll take you to Aries Twitch where you can uh, sub. <laughs> Because he's the best, he's cute, and he's funny, he's got red and white hair, and he's magic, and I think he's the best, and I edit the videos on his YouTube, so obviously that counts for something. I also thumbnail all of them, so if you want to see more of me through his content, go do that, because my influence is on there. <laughs> you suck. Uh, I think that might be an Onion article that I saw that said I suck, because I don't think I suck, actually. I think I'm like, the best. <laughs> Other than Aerie, of course, because Aerie's the best. I'm the second best. Um, I'm also a huge narcissist, because I can never do anything wrong, ever. And once I do realize that I might have done something wrong, by then, it's too late. Back to shapeshifting? Um, so I like when Aerie is like real tiny. I like when he's real big too. Size changes are cool. Um, I like when he is a fluffy fox. Uh, my music cut out. Give me a second. Bricks. There are so many different kinds of bricks. You know, there are like cinder block bricks. There are like orange bricks. 
Um, bricks are great for a wide variety of things. You know, you can like throw them through car windows. You can uh, build houses with them. You know, they're, they're like, they're just clay. They're just clay in like uh, a, f a, a rectangle form. But humanity, you know, I'm gonna say bricks are like one of humanity's best creations, you know? Just let, let's, let's build like schools and libraries. <laughs> if you need Mama Michi, say the word sweetie. <laughs> Red brick, blue brick. I'm actually kind of having fun. This is like improv. Plus, he's a moderator. He'll destroy you. And I don't want you to get in a fight with him because I like you. Aerie, <laughs> don't you have a story about a brick that you could share? <laughs> yeah. You know, I bet I could draw Aerie's brick. I could draw a brick and put Aerie's face on it. I, didn't, I have the power to do that with my artistness. For me, you win. Yeah, don't take on Aerie. Don't do it. If, if he ever says something you don't agree with, just comply. <laughs> no, you don't. Not that I know of. You told me a story about when you were a wee lad and one of your friends had a brick. <laughs> and I thought that would be great for this moment, for this improv. But I don't want to tell your story for you. So if you want to share it, go for it. Or if you're okay with me sharing it, I will. But I just remembered it. Um, weirdly enough, I don't have any brick stories. The only- the closest thing to a brick story I have. Spooky trash bags. As long as you're having fun and actually being bullied, I'm okay with it. If it's Aerie, it's okay. Aerie gets a pass on everything. <laughs> uh, spooky trash bag. I don't- <laughs> I don't really know what that's referencing. If it's referencing something. I don't remember. <laughs> like, did you get scared by a trash bag? I mean, it's not- Okay. Like, if you're walking through an alley at night and it's dark, you might see some trash bags and it looks like a person in the corner that's gonna get ready to jump you and that's pretty spooky. You could also say a spooky trash bag is me because I'm a ghost and I'm spooky and I'm also trash. So I'm a spooky trash bag. <laughs> Just commit to the bit and get a trash bag and like put it over myself. <laughs> <laughs> really spooky. Yeah, I'm so scary. Look at that gif in the corner with the tail like <laughs> That's that's terrifying <laughs> My bad improv also terrifying So I am the spooky trash bag You know who else is a spooky trash bag? Spooky no I'm kidding um, now you're doing great, am I? I'm trying. I used to be a theater kid, but that was years ago, and I didn't really perform much. I was mostly like backstage. Uh, anybody got anything else for spooky trash bags? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like, what do you put inside a spooky trash bag? Like, I know, money. Give me money. <laughs> oh no. Why spooky trash bag? Why is that what you chose? I'm so confused. I 
many points do you have, eh? What color would the spoopy trash bag be, though? I'm picturing like a generic Glade trash bag. Or Glad, not Glade. Where it's a lot like it's black and then it has like either blue or yellow drawstrings on it. It's got like that checkered mark all over it. When I think of spooky trash bag, I think of those big leaf bags that look like pumpkins. Oh my god, you're right. I only ever see those around Halloween. I never see them any other time. I mean, that makes sense that it's fall around Halloween. <laughs> Speaking of those pumpkin trash bags, when I was a wee lad, one year for Halloween, I was a pumpkin. Somewhere, there's a picture of me in the world's itchiest pumpkin costume, with my arms like this, just like suffering inside in a gymnasium with other kids at like the tribal center, getting my picture taken, and I'm just like uncomfortable, like, please no. <laughs> I don't know what the, the costume was made out of, but it felt like fiberglass, and every time I moved, it stabbed me. <laughs> and I was just a big old pumpkin. I was like a pumpkin jack-o'-lantern thing, and like it had the scary face on it, and then I had a little hat that was like the top of the pumpkin. Not my favorite costume. <laughs> It's like, I think I went as a witch like four years in a row because I thought they were cool. Also, is it wrong to believe that you can do trick-or-treating at any age? Like, I know some city ordinances literally say you can't, but like, as far as I'm concerned, as long as you go through the S effort of dressing up, cosplaying, doing makeup, whatever, you deserve candy. So you can be a full grown man, and as long as you went through some sort of effort, I will give you candy. Like, isn't, isn't that fair? Especially like when there's parents going out with their kids. I think all parents force their child to be a pumpkin for Halloween at some point. Yeah, probably. But like, yeah, if parents dress up with their kids, I'll definitely give them candy too. But you know they're gonna steal some of their kids' candy later anyway, so might as well give them their own. All for adults trick-or-treating, right? It's like, I never really understood why adults had Halloween parties, but then I realized it's because they're not allowed to go trick-or-treating anymore. But so they have to host their own trick-or-treating events with all adult activities and stuff like that so that they can have fun. It's like, especially if you're an adult without a child, you can't masquerade like you're taking your kid out trick-or-treating when you're the one who wants candy. When you got like a two-year-old and you're forcing him to go up to the porch and fill up a giant sack of candy that he'll never be able to eat all of. That's for the parents, 100%. So instead, we gotta go to parties and, and just like drink and eat candy there. <laughs> it's like, I wanna start cosplaying and stuff like that. I wanna start going to cons once this whole pandemic thing is over, if I can raise enough money with art and stuff like that. Like, I think it'd be real fun. I don't know if I'll ever get to the point, but if I ever get to the point where people donate money for specific things like that, like if someone donates money, being like, buy con tickets with this, then I'll probably do that. But, see, I never went to con. <laughs> I never went to one. They had one nearby. It wasn't huge, but they had one and I was invited to go to it one year. And then that year, I ended up having to work that weekend. I asked for it off and everything, and then the guy who was supposed to cover me ended up calling in sick. So I ended up having to go to work anyway. That was that was years ago. I was like still in high school or something like that. 
but I had two cosplays prepared for that. I had a Choji cosplay from Naruto, the little fat guy. And then I also had an Amethyst cosplay from Steven Universe. You would have hit them with a nah, I'm busy. I didn't get that choice. It was I come in or I get fired. And at the time I cared. Um, plus I was kind of nervous about cosplaying. There's so much fun I'll kidnap you to one. Bet. <laughs> Yeah, I want to do my Amethyst cosplay because I never got to do my Amethyst cosplay. But I would be down to be Amethyst or Rose. Uncle pick up Joy. Okay. So either of those would be good for me. It's like, yeah, man. I remember the wig I got for the Amethyst cosplay. Too. It was like the world's worst wig. It was fake. It was like acrylic plastic hair or some crap and I tried brushing it and I made it so much worse like I wanted to smooth the hair out and like make it like shiny and everything and, <laughs> and I brushed it and it just frizzed up and ruined it so Yeah, I fucked up the wig. <laughs> you got a few Kingdom Heart cosplays and anime you're working on. A Plague Doctor one now? My brother was a Plague Doctor for Halloween with his fiance at a party. And it looked pretty cool. I don't really have a lot of costumes or anything like that right now. But yeah. I'm afraid to cosplay too much stuff that's outside of my body type. It's like, I'm big. I know I'm big. So I'll probably try to cosplay bigger characters to like fit within that kind of. Because I don't want to get made fun of for wearing something I probably shouldn't. And like, even if I change the cosplay to like look a little better on me, I don't want people to get mad that I'm like, not true to the character, blah blah blah. But I would love to cosplay. It's like I also am not just afraid, you know. So also, I don't know how to sew. I kind of know how to sew. I learned how to sew a little bit when I was younger. But if it's evident by my recent attempts at hand sewing. I completely forgot how to do it. <laughs> or I have not kept it up. It's like back when I was in school, I did a little bit of like special effects makeup, but not a lot. Like I did stage makeup. So I know how to do like noses with like the latex and stuff like that. But I don't know anything super special. So I might be able to do s well I'm an artist, but I don't know. I could probably do some makeup for like cosplay. It's like I've done I've done like, you know, the like jack of all trades crap when it comes to art. If you're ever in my area, I'd be more than willing to help you sew. Hey. Oh yeah, you told me that the necklace needs to be on him and his brain. Not the other one. It transfers with his conscious conscience. So I gotta put it on the chipmunk.
Does my voice sound like it's dying, by the way? Talking is hard. Recently, I started re-watching Naruto. A little bit. <laughs> nice. See, I just gotta get used to talking more. I'm a very quiet person. Kind of. I can be. I got told to shut up a lot when I was younger. But I kinda just stopped. But now I'm having to relearn how to not be quiet. I don't talk enough. I'm not entertaining enough. I need to be more outgoing and open. I also need to learn how to banter and be nice. Because I've been hurting people's feelings with my banter lately. So I gotta learn how to like, I don't know, balance it out or something. Because the way my family does banter and playfulness is like roasting each other, teasing each other, crap like that. And apparently not everybody does that. It's like, we tease you if we care about you. We don't waste our time teasing anyone we don't care about. And some people take that shit personally. So I gotta learn how to play nice. So how do you guys banter nicely? <laughs> how do you tease somebody without being an asshole? It's basically what I'm asking. See, I... Sometimes roasting can be fun, it all depends on the person, I think. Yeah, like, in my family, everybody's like, chill with that. Like, that's normal. You know, my brother and I, my mom and I, whatever we fucking roast the shit out of each other and it's like fine so how do you banter with somebody that doesn't like that how do you tiptoe your way around the eggshells with someone who can't handle it what kind of stuff do you make fun of or not not make fun of what, what can you joke about basically it's like I'm a little bit on like the anti-social spectrum, so I don't really pick up on like context clues very easily. And often I don't realize what I've done wrong until like after it's happened. So can you guys help me? Can you coach me? Can you guys tell me how to be nice? Like, I mean well. I'm just trying to have fun. I get that, but I'm not the best at socializing either. Yeah, it's okay. I just... Hmm. Have you guys ever done a love language test? You guys like know what the love languages are or anything like that? Yeah, I can't help with it. Uh, you're the opposite. Unless I know the person, I can't take a roast too personally. Ah. Oh, you can take roast personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Hmm.
don't know, man. I just grew up with my family being like, Hi, you fucking idiot! <laughs> you do not know the love language test. Hey, hey. I'm not 100% that I remember all of them, but I think there's like five different love languages. There's like... Physical contact, acts of service, gifts, time spent together, and like one more. I can't remember what the last one is. Uh, I think there's one more, but I can't remember it. And my love languages are physical contact, acts of service, and time spent together. So the most important thing for me is just like spending time with somebody like cuddling like just like sitting next to somebody doing something for somebody having somebody do something for me like just being in the same room is like my thing and then some people are like gifts and acts of services or something like that so in order to like show them that you love them in order for them to feel loved you have to like give them things and it doesn't have to be like expensive stuff or anything just like it lets them know that you care if you get them things and acts of service is acts of service doing something for somebody making them breakfast making their bed uh doing their laundry helping them set something up stuff like that and then, you know, time spent together is time spent together. It's just quality time. Stuff like that. So everybody has these different love languages and it doesn't just apply to like, uh, like relationship, like boyfriend, girlfriend. It applies to like all relationships. So different, like even in your friendships. Gifts is probably your love language. It means the most to you when you receive gifts. Yeah. It's like, a lot of people are like that, you know? And it's been a few years since I've taken the test, but like, like I was saying, that applies to friendships too. And I think the world would be a lot easier if we just like knew everybody's. And I don't know if like, it changes much over time, but I forget why I brought that up. I don't know, I don't remember the, your physical contacts and you like hugging and sitting next to people and cuddling and just like just like a hand on the shoulder like holding hands stuff like that yeah usually i think when you take the test you get like three your top three. Oh, okay so you like giving gifts okay okay yeah i like I like, like, hugging and holding hands and sitting next to people and just spending time with them. Um, something that makes me upset and something that I'm working on is I'm bad at talking. Like, I never know what I want to talk about. And to be honest, not much happens in my life. So if there's somebody that I talk to quite frequently, I easily like run out of things to talk about with them and it gets kind of boring and then I feel bad because it's like my fault, but I can't just pull conversations out of my ass like, I don't know, normal people can. Like, I can only ever really talk about whatever I'm thinking about and then... If the other person doesn't want to talk about that, then it's like, well, I can talk at you. I hope you respond, but I can't make you want to talk about what I'm talking about. So, so I, yeah, I'm hoping streaming actually helps me with that. You're like that too. And then they get mad at you. You're just existing and they get mad at you and you don't know why they're mad at you. It's like, because you don't want them to be mad, but 
you can't force yourself to just like suddenly take an interest in something. It's like you start like reciting like old facts you know or something to fill the air. And then they get even more mad and then you're just there like, why am I broken? What's wrong with me? Why can't I talk? So, I'm hoping streaming helps me with that. Sorry, I made myself cry. <laughs> And like, that's kind of the thing I was talking about earlier, how I wanted these art streams to not just be like art streams, I wanted them to be more like a hybrid of just chatting in art streams, so... <laughs> too late, Fire! Too late! I'm a weak piece of shit! I'm emotional! Everything makes me cry! People I love being mad at me makes me cry! <laughs> But, um, yeah, I want this to be, like, uh, just chatting. I want this to be community-driven fun time. So I'm hoping that streaming more will teach me how to be more entertaining. And maybe I can, like, break out of my shell. Now you guys are gonna make me cry for being nice to me. <laughs> nah, I'm okay. It's okay. But I don't know if you like get what I mean. It's like, I don't know if you can relate, but for years. I've just been, like, unsure of who I am, or what I like, or just, like, being afraid of being me, and recently I've kind of been getting more comfortable in my own skin, but not, like, fully, and I learned that I really like streaming, and I want to do it more, but I want to do it well. I want people to actually like me and what I do. And I want to be entertaining. And I want to put effort into it. So... I hope that doing this regularly and building up some sort of fan base will help me be comfortable with who I am. And it'll help me learn how to talk more and... I'll, like, get better at it the longer I do it. Because I gotta think of it as, like, a couple different things. I gotta think of it as, like, this is kind of like a performance, right? Like, I'm in front of a camera, I'm drawing things. I have people in a chat talking to me. I can always talk about what chat talks about, but sometimes there's nobody there, right? And then I just have to pull stuff out of my ass and, like, talk about my day or my goals. Or whatever and that's really hard for me because especially lately I haven't had that many interests I haven't had like TV shows I've been like dying to see and want to make fan art of and stuff like that I haven't really had enough time for me and so I run out of stuff to talk about <laughs> and I forgot where I'm taking this Come on, I'm bringing you back to conclusion. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to like rediscover myself and I'm trying to learn how to be normal and talk and be entertaining and improv and work on a schedule and be my own person and learn new tricks <laughs> and how to not be antisocial and how to meet people and do what I love, and all that junk. I've been very inspired lately. And it gets me fired up. Like... Like for the first time in a long time, I know what I want. 
And it's this. And I want to be successful at this. Welcome to my TED talk. I mean, thanks for listening to my TED talk. <laughs> this is the end of the talk. <laughs> Being a good streamer is gonna take time and effort. We will be here to support you on your journey. There's no rush to this. No, there is a rush. I need to be good now. <laughs> I gotta give it a hundred percent, and then I gotta go even beyond that. I gotta fucking plus ultra this shit <laughs> and go even further beyond. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry I cried on stream. <laughs> I'm better now. I don't know. I just. I get emotional about things. I get passionate about. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I have to be perfect, Mitchie. <laughs> no. I'm not worthy of love unless I'm perfect, Mitchie. <laughs> no. <laughs> Like, I have to conform to be exactly what they want. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like half joking. <laughs> it's like, that's really bad, but like, there's some truth in there. <laughs> I don't know if that's just like an antisocial thing or if that's like a normal thing for people. But, uh,. I often do change myself. I often do change my like personality and interests and crap like that around whoever I want to impress. So that's that's a challenge too with live streaming is I know I won't be able to like satisfy everybody and that a lot of people aren't gonna like my content and crap like that. But I wanna be like I don't know. I don't wanna be like too niche, you know. I don't want only, like, five people to like me. I don't need the entire world to like me either, don't get me wrong. But I would like to be popular. <laughs> I'd like to be liked. I think a lot of people do that, me included. Yeah, and like, I've kind of like psyched myself out before about that. Like, um... Sometimes I question myself and my own interests because I'm not sure if they're really my interests or if I just became interested in it because somebody else is interested in it. But if I became interested in it because somebody else is interested in it, I am still technically interested in it. Does it matter where that interest came from? It's like, I don't think I have to explain to people why I like something. I'm pretty sure that, like, it's okay for me to like something. <laughs> but I still get the weird feeling that I need some sort of, like, justification for it, which I know has to be unhealthy. Like, I should just like what I like and just be okay with that. Why do I feel like I have to justify who I am? It's like, um... God, let me try and think of an example. Oh, I used to like shooting guns. I haven't done that in years. But I used to do that, and the only reason I did that was because an old friend of mine was really into guns in like World War II and crap like that. So I'd go to the shooting range with him, and guess what? I was kind of good at it. I'd have to shoot lefty because I'm left eye dominant. But I could hit a two inch target from 150 yards with iron sights and shit like that. Like, I was not a bad shot. And I had fun doing it for a while there. I decided that that wasn't a thing I want to do anymore, but I didn't like pretend to enjoy it. I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, right. If, if you like it, that's all there is to it. But. 
I don't know if you can relate to this, but sometimes I end up feeling kind of lost because of that. Like, um, when people ask me what I enjoy, sometimes I struggle coming up with stuff because of that. And that's coming back to the not knowing what to talk about thing. Chances are, if I start talking to somebody, I'm probably going to end up talking about Aerie. Because lately, he's been like the most like important slash consistent thing in my life. Which I know is probably also not the healthiest. Because it's like he might not want me to talk about him. This new person doesn't even know who he is. It's like... But... He's like my best friend and shit, you know? So I guess I try to define myself outside of that. And that's where it gets weird. That's when I'm like... Huh, yes, who am I? I don't really know. <laughs> but that's probably like some weird philosophical thing where like going through life nobody really knows who they are. And you just gotta like wing it. It's like I'm 24 now. And for some reason when I was younger I thought like, once you became an adult, you would just suddenly know, like, how to exist properly. That was a scam. <laughs> it's like, I just learned everybody is winging it at all times. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, that's 100% true! But I'm worried that that, like, annoys people. <laughs> and I'm worried that it annoys him. <laughs> But, if he's like the only thing I got going on in my life, like, what the fuck am I supposed to talk about? And that's when it gets weird, because I can't talk about him to him, that doesn't make any sense. So then, when I talk to him, I don't have anything to talk about. And that's when we fall back into people getting angry, because I don't have anything to talk about. And I'm a big dumb! <laughs> So yeah, streaming, improv, talking about things, learning how to person. It's like, entertainment, skill, art, videos, words, English is hard. Like, I should look up some, like... You know what's funny? At my mom's house, adulting is hard. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. It's a scam. It's an absolute scam. Um, at my mom's house, I actually have a book that I still have from university that I got from my English course that's public speaking. And I should probably read it. It's probably got some, like, handy tips in there. Sorry, I'm not gonna help it. Oh, don't worry about it, Fire. I'm just glad you're here to listen, honestly. I just annoy- I annoy- I just enjoy seeing your name pop up in chat. I enjoy seeing when you're online in Discord. I'm just happy that you exist. You don't have to worry. It's like, you don't have to fix any of my problems. You know what I mean? Just you being there. Just you supporting me, supporting the stream. Just, yeah, just existing. Just existing is health, fire. And... Oh, thank you. Just like... Um... Fuck, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, it's like... As, well, as much as like these are issues that I'm worried about, and I'm speaking candidly, I'm not... I'm not really like looking for you to fix my problems, you know what I mean? I'm just talking about stuff that's like in my brain hole and that I want to talk about because I'm live streaming and I'm trying to talk, you know? Imagine that this is like the game where it's like 
don't stop talking and nobody gets hurt or some crap like that. I don't know if that's the name of the game. But I'm just I'm just um trying to stay vocal. And I'm also just like consciously going through the things that I have been worried about or wanting to talk about at the same time. So with me streaming more, these are issues that I was thinking about, if not actively, just like subconsciously. And while I have you guys here and I'm streaming, why not talk about it? It's like, like I said, I want this to be very open and I want everything on this channel to be like community driven and stuff like that. So I might as well tell you guys how I'm feeling and maybe being open and honest about it will make it easier for me. Good night. Love you. Maybe it'll make it easier for me. You feel bad when people talk about the problems and stuff and you just sit there and listen? Don't feel bad. A lot of people don't actually want somebody to fix their problems. They just want somebody to listen. So, trust me. You're doing fine. Like, I feel like that's why a lot of guys and girls get in fights. Because the girls are complaining and the guy is like, Well, this is how you fix it. Duh. And it's like, shut up. I don't want you to fix it. I want you to listen. <laughs> Man. Like, I feel much better now that I got that off my chest. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. Like, I got called a narc earlier. And I'm like, am I? <laughs> Like, Mitchie, do you think it is possible to be a narcissist and hate yourself? Because I know a few people that are kind of like that. Where like, I don't, I don't think it's narcissism necessarily. But like, where you're focused on yourself but in a negative way. I'm talking about myself right now, by the way. Like, I feel like I can give myself the over-enthusiastic kind of, like, I'm the best, hell yeah, ain't nobody gonna hold me down, uh. <laughs> Like, that partial narcissism? Alright. Like, um... But when I get like that, mostly it's just like the fake it until I make it kind of crap. Like, I have to try and believe in myself somewhat because nobody else is going to believe in me for me. So I have to do it. But that's not really true, is it? Because you guys believe in me. <laughs> but you know, when you get all depresso or whatever, you got to hold yourself accountable. <laughs> So that's kind of where I am with that. So like, side note, what are you guys thinking of this art so far? Rant, speech aside, how art make you feel? I'm trying to do more with the background as well. Looking good, thank you, thank you. I still have thumbnails to draw for tomorrow as well. I wanted to do that after this, but it appears that I will not be able to. It appears that someone is going to make me get away from my computer. <laughs> Cute and fun. Nice. 
Now I feel awkward. Now I don't know what to talk about after going on that, like, rant. <laughs> I soiled it. Soiled it. Now it's awkward. Oh god. How do I unawkward this? Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> like quick tell a joke. Uh I don't know any jokes. Damn it. <laughs> You don't think it's awkward? Okay. I feel awkward. <laughs> Hydrate. I have to go get water because the only thing I have is soda and that's not really hydrating. So let me rinse my cup out and get some water and I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Nicotine. I don't know, I'm just weird. Nah, you're cool. Hydrate and feel better. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mama Michi. Yo. I wanna add like rewards. It's like right now I have like the meow and raw reward where if you redeem them, OBS itself will play a sound. But I was thinking about making rewards as well, where I have to say it instead of just having a thing say it. So I, th I was thinking about making like an ara ara reward or something like that. <laughs> so like, see that's kind of a thing that I think is more like VTuber like too, that VTubers do, like where they like do noises and cute shit. So I want to do that kind of shit too. Yeah. And you should be able to spam the meow and roar and shit like that as much as you want. I think you only have to watch a stream for two hours to do it as well. So, people who stick around for a little bit can just do that a bunch. I like when streamers have stuff like that. Because I think it's fun and like interactive. And I haven't finished setting it up yet, but I want to get it set up so that when you hit the meow and stuff like that, an image pops up too. Ara ara. <laughs> I am a big fan of the ara ara as well. <laughs> like, ara ara Michi. <laughs> hmm. I should draw some waifus sometime on stream. I should do a mixture. I should do some some ara ara onesans and some milfs and like everything in between. Just have like a waifu stream. But I don't draw waifus too often, but they should be appreciated. It's like this channel needs more fan service. Like, that's what those big channels have that I don't. They have the waifus, and they have the hot tubs, and all that stuff. It's like, that's what I need. <laughs> I'm perfectly okay with doing that kind of stuff, too. I think it's part of the fun. It's like, this might be TMI for Twitch. But in the past, I had a viewer admit to me that he uh, did things to my YouTube videos, and I was like, "Fuck yeah!" <laughs> I was like, "Look at me, bitch!" <laughs> Which I know it's not everybody's kind of reaction, but I took it as a compliment. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I got simps. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Although I kind of ruined it for some people because they enjoyed my voice, 
but then hated this. Which is why I need a VTuber rig. <laughs> But it's all fun in games. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you'd know if I was skinny or confident. I would 100% have an OnlyFans. I would 100% be one of those hot tub streamers. If I had the bod and the means, I would 100% do that. It's like, whenever my friends talk trash on like, those kinds of streamers, I'm like, dude, it's easy money. If I could do it, I would. <laughs> it's like, they're making content, there is a supply and demand. They would not make that kind of content if it did not pay their bills. It's like, it sounds to me like it would be easy and fun. I know for me personally, with the way my brain works, it would be an ego boost. I would enjoy. <laughs> so whenever people get mad and be like, Ah, they're, they're ruining my wholesome website. And I'm like, this website was never wholesome, dude. Are you kidding me? I've been here since it was just in TV. And this website has never been wholesome. <laughs> they have rules that they... They pick and choose when to like actually enforce them. I remember when they first banned shirtless streams and all the guys got real upset. Like, but the reason the shirtless streams got banned is because a girl was doing it too. I'm glad that they're making a section where you can wear that kind of material, you yeah? know? I'm pretty much against censorship most of the time. Unless you're actually, like, hurting somebody. If you're hurting somebody, then yeah. But if it's just like, I want to wear a tank top. Like, I don't have a very big chest, but some women do. And that's just, like, how they were born. And if they can't wear summer clothes comfortably without getting their channel taken down, I feel like something's wrong. You shouldn't get punished just for having a body. You shouldn't get punished for existing. That's dumb as hell. Yeah, so I'm glad that they have that. And people are losing their advertisers and crap like that. And that's just how the game is played, man. If Coca-Cola doesn't want to sponsor you because you get your tits out, then Coca-Cola doesn't want to sponsor you. That's your problem. But Twitch allowing you to wear that is good. You just have to figure out a balance between what you want and what you need to do to make money. It's like, Ari recently pointed out to me that these advertising companies don't really do the whole sex sales thing anymore, but not that long ago, everybody was posting up like half naked women next to cars to sell them and crap like that, so. I'm not too worried about advertisers thinking they're too good to sponsor streams. It's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it'll work itself out. <laughs> I don't think it's anything people need to be too worried about. And now that it has its own section, it's like, if you don't want to see it, don't go to the section. Like, or turn on, like, a kid-friendly mode or something. But yeah. God, I wish I was skinny and attractive. <laughs> or at least more confident. It's like... I know that if I if I wore certain things on stream, people would definitely bully me for it. <laughs> but maybe maybe if I was confident enough to and actually started dressing like how I like wanna dress. Maybe maybe then I could be you know, the chubby one <laughs> and be the popular chubby one. <laughs> because I know there's an audience for it. I know I know that there's there's you know, there's it's somebody's type. <laughs> but 
I'm not that confident. <laughs> I don't think I could pull it off. But it's somebody's type. You think I can pull it off? Hmm. 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 Alright, next stream. I'll wear a dress next stream. I don't wear dresses too often. Sometimes they make me uncomfortable. But next stream, I'll do my makeup. And I'll wear a dress. I won't wear a hoodie. I'll, I'll wear a dress. It might just be like lipstick and eyes though for makeup. And should I go get the lipstick? Because when I wear lipstick, it's like a dark red lipstick. Like a crimson kind of. Do it? You want me to go get it? Okay. Yeah, I'll go put it on in the bathroom and I'll be right back. Alright, you ready? You ready? Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, so this is the lipstick I like to wear. It's Vivid Matte Liquid. Um, who's this by? Revlon or L'Oreal? Oh, it's Maybelline. Neither. So, uh, yeah. I put lipstick on so rarely that this bottle is like probably like seven years old. <laughs> maybe not quite though, maybe like five. Doesn't have a date on it. But yeah, I like to wear these. Yes, queen, yeah, <laughs> you're so pretty. <laughs> you guys, stop. <laughs> I love these kind of colors. Michi, I don't know if you remember, but I used to dye my hair red, like, kind of like my characters, like that fire truck red, and I thought that this shit looked great with it. <laughs> Plus my eyes are like yellowish green, but I thought I made it pop. So yeah, I like rocking dark red lipstick. If I- I also like dark purple and black as well. Yeah, you remember? Like, I wanna- I wish I was- I kind of want to pull off like a emo slash goth punk maybe skater like aesthetic. Yeah, man. A lot of my clothes are very manly because that's usually I dress in dude clothes most of the time. I think I'm pretty masculine, but sometimes sometimes I like to get girly with it. You know, kind of rare, but I have fun with it. Like, I would love to rock, like, a look that's, like, somewhere in the middle, too. Like, do my makeup, wear, like, mostly, like, men's kind of stuff. Like, men's shoes and pants, and then maybe have, like, some sort of blouse. Just, like, mix it up. You remember me having very short hair? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I've been growing my hair out for the last, like, two and a half, three years. Because, uh, people like it longer. And I think it looks pretty. I don't hate it. But I do miss when it was short. I could do a lot more with it. I could cut it and style it and dye it. I tried to bleach my hair, which is why it's kind of blonde right now. 
and I did not have enough bleach. So it's kind of it was like blonde, not blonde, blonde again. Because I did the roots and the tips, and I was massaging my way back around the skull, and I didn't have enough. I've got some garnet dye that I'm gonna put in my hair. That's like a purpley, reddy kind of dye. And I think I have enough hair dye, because I got two tubes of it. But I need to somehow buy more bleach before I can dye my hair. Who knows? Maybe if I get the bleach sometime soon, I'll do like, I'll do my hair in a stream or something. I don't know. Sounds fun. Just sounds like something to do. Yeah, I'm Mr. Short Hair with the long hair. It looks pretty. And if other people like it, who am I to to cut it off? I do need to trim though. I got like fried ends. <laughs> you like the you like the idea of, of dying on stream? You like that, huh? <laughs> Here, my phone's charging now and I can't read the chat. I'm gonna have to like finagle it, make it go sideways or something. See, I need not my dashboard, I need just my normal stream. Come on, come on. Take me to my channel. I wanna watch the stream. I wanna watch the stream. So I can have it sideways and read my chat. So I need to see my chat, man. There we go. Now I can see my chat. Ah! Ah, no. I don't know, it, it, it closed itself. Another thing is, I need a better camera. And I need a ring light that's like over here instead of, you know, the ceiling light in the dining room that just makes me kind of, you know, like white out. <laughs> so. You know how it'd be. All that shit takes money. <laughs> but in the meantime, make do with what we have. Excuse me. Sharpen a little. I found cheap, decent ring light at TJ Maxx. It's small, but only ten dollars. Oh shit! We don't have a TJ Maxx here. <laughs> it's like we got a Walmart. Um, got a Kohl's. There's a target like an hour away. <laughs> I can probably find one online. I'm sure like Walmart probably has one. I, I'm sure Amazon probably has one too. Yeah, let's do these. These is. Dude, do I want that to be white actually? No, Aries hair is white, that's too much white. Let's do like this, like, do like a, a pale yellow. Yeah, he'll be a pale yellow. And then the chipmunk will be a pale blue. That way we have some like different colors from their subconsciousness. And it's not just white, because it's too much white if that's white, too much. I'll use like this red color for this. Also, how do you guys feel about the music I'm using for the stream? I've been enjoying the chiptune music. Well, I'm gonna be complaining to Petco soon. Uh oh, what happened? Are your animals okay? Oh, 
Oh shit. See that? I'm gonna go the line. need to set this as the reference layer. Your babies are fine. It's just the bag of food the bag came in does not match the description. Ah, okay. I was like worried that you got something faulty in. I was like, please tell me your pets are okay. <laughs> also, the music is good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I like the like video game retro sound. In my opinion, out of a lot of the free music, it's the best. I need to look up a picture of a chipmunk because I don't want to mess up the fur pattern. We used to have a bunch of chipmunks around here. Then, uh, some stray cats kinda took care of that. Chipmunk. Chipmunk. There's my reference. <laughs> ah, yeah, I'm gonna have to do some airbrushing. Oh, yeah. I quit cigarettes and now I just vape. I know it's not great. I know it's not like perfect, but they have less bad things in them than regular cigarettes did. You have a headache? You think you're gonna lay down and sleep and you'll have a good night? Thank you for showing up, Fire. It was nice talking to you. Thank you for listening to me rant. I hope that your headache goes away and that you sleep well. Have a great night. I thought I had black stripes on its nose. Is that only some chipmunks? I think the photo I referenced when I first started drawing this had like the stripes around its eyes. I guess we won't really see the stripes on the back. Well. We're gonna roll with it. I'll make a layer above this layer and clip it below. And we'll do some like airbrushing on the chipmunk. Because the chipmunk appears to have like a gradient, you know? 
we're gonna give it like pink in their ears. You're still here, you're gonna be feeding snack baby? Oh hell yeah. Prompto, right? That's his name. Do I remember his snack name? Prompto? song rocking a little. I feel like the line art and sketching takes so long. Yes, he turned one last Sunday. Oh, happy birthday, Prompto! Little snack, baby! How long? How long is snack? Is snack like this long? Like, like this long? No, I know, it's probably like it went like this. Like, like this? I don't know how fast snakes grow. I'm gonna guess that he's like a foot and a half. My guess. I'm gonna go with like 18 inches. 18 to 12 inches, I'm gonna guess. I have no idea how fast snakes grow. <laughs> That's my uneducated, educated guess. He's a slow grower, 10 inches right now. Darn! <laughs> I was too enthusiastic. Like, I wish I was a slow grower. I'd like to be shorter. <laughs> Oops, I didn't want to turn it. Uh -oh. <laughs> I just wanted to zoom zoom. Zoom zoom. I'm gonna have to play around to put that uh, fur color mixing in. some like grays nope that's too far too large yeah I'm just gonna like layer up the tail because the tail has that like fluffy look you know so I'm just gonna use this like hard airbrush and try and layer up the colors. I don't want it to like be super realistic because this is a tune drawing, but I want it to look good. So I'm trying to like put details into it. Like um, in the stream yesterday as well, I talked about how I've made a lot of art, but it's been a little while since I think I made something that was like truly beautiful. So I'm going to try and, especially with these drawings of Aerie and like the transformation and stuff like that, I'm going to like take my time with it and try to make it like detailed while also being toony and see how like pretty that I can make stuff while it's still toony. And junk. All right. Eh, it looks like the whole like ring on the edge of the tail is like feathered. So I'm gonna just try and feather it. <laughs> and with that being said, me wanting to make something like really pretty and crap like that. 
Um, I haven't decided what it's going to be yet, but I will be starting some sort of project that I work on over like a long period of time. And just try to like grow as an artist while I work on it. So it'll probably have some like elements of realism, some elements of like manga, toony stuff. It'll evolve and change. It'll be like a master study piece on different styles, themes, values, dynamics, just like its only goal is to look good. I'll probably end up telling a story with it too, let's be honest here, because that's me. But the main goal is to learn and grow and make something that looks good. I'm okay with that. I might put some... It looks like a little bit of white might go down in here, so I might do like that. I'm okay, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna put a little dark around here. This edge here. Because it doesn't seem like we would really see a black line from that angle, but it appears that some dark fur feathers over here. And then a little on the arm as well. And I'm just using the hard airbrush for this. So I guess like a mixture between painting and normal whatever cell shaded like coloring I do. Because I've been wanting to play this stuff as well as not have it like be all hard. And then that's not really a shading, it's just like the fur. And then I'll do like a multiply layer above this for the actual shading and junk. But it is midnight. So I think hmm, I think what I might do is just get the flats in and then do the shading next time I stream. It's like I did the like background stuff, most of it, you know, already. But I'm probably gonna throw in some multiply layers and highlight layers in that as well. So Yeah. Oh, I forgot to color the necklace. <laughs> I'm a doof. So yeah, I'll finish up these black colors. We'll finish up these colors and then we'll actually finish the image with the effects and the multiplayer and the highlight layer and stuff like that in the next stream. But I want the solid like base of this done. And in the next stream as well um, is tomorrow, tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be going live. Because tomorrow is actually supposed to be the study stream. So that study that I was talking about in my Discord server, which if you're not participating in, I highly suggest that you do. So if you're not in my Discord server, you should totally fix that. <laughs> because we're doing a group activity. And I don't know if anyone's actually going to participate. A couple people have said that they're interested in it, but who knows? And it, it, sh it shouldn't be intimidating. A study is just like a practice that everybody does. You won't be able to because you have work tomorrow? That's okay. I'll post the VOD to my, my YouTube VOD channel. So if you do want to see it, you can. Obviously you don't have to, but if you find yourself wanting to watch the VOD, it will be available for you. Um... What did I say? Yeah. I don't know who's all gonna participate. 
but I hope at least a couple people do. Because I look forward to it. If anything, I'll get some practice. And I'm gonna keep doing it every week. Not the same practice, but practices every week. Because I know that I will always have room to improve. <laughs> And it's just fun. Fun. It's it's a group activity. It's a community building thing. So the more people that I can get to eventually participate, the better. It's like plus, it hasn't happened in a while, but I used to have people that would often ask me to like help them learn how to draw and stuff like that. So all those people this is like their opportunity. This is literally like what they were asking for. do more of that layering and stuff later. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna quickly train fill in the Set up. I'm gonna have to get an Uh, I did not want to fill in the lines. Nope. <laughs> Music is so cool. My voice hurts. <laughs> oh no. I might have overdone it today. <laughs>
That gray is actually okay for the undershirt. Alright. Okay. I have been live for two hours and 30 minutes and it is midnight 04. So I think this is going to be where I'm going to wrap up the stream for today. I want to thank everybody that came and chat and hung out for a bit, even if it was just to say hello. And thank you to Waldo for being my newest follower. I'll be live tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the study stream. So if you're interested, drop a follow and show up for that. Otherwise, I'm going to say goodbye for now. I still have two thumbnails to draw before I go to bed later. So got more work to do. But I'm happy with where this drawing is right now, and all we'll have to do in the next stream is clean it up and finish it and junk like that. Add some shading. So thank you guys so much for watching, and this is bye bye <laughs> I don't know how to end these yet. It's still super awkward, but bye. <laughs>